What's gonna happen? Is he gonna wake up? Is he dead? Shut up, bye, I'll just keep watching. The K is pronounced like a B. Sweetheart, it's time for me to confess something. I was the one who pushed you under that. <gasps> Wait, what? Nothing. <laughs> He's alive. But how did he die? Also, what year is it? Sweetie, you look incredible. If you were 80 years old or a wrinkly fajita. What year is it? It's 2050. The president is an air fryer because we realized humans were too problematic. And there's two Moana sequels. One about Moana if she was a mom and another if she was a lactose intolerant volcano who's constantly erupting and it was rated R. How did I die? Um, nothing. How are you feeling? I told the doctor to use the IV of butter, which is great. And your neck is back on, which is incredible. It was off. She's guilty. It's like she did something bad. The doctor's here. Oh no, what's he gonna say? Hi everybody. Hi. Hi sir, any update on the gaping hole in his heart? What? Okay, so I have some good news and I have some bad news. Oh, sorry, one sec. Mom, I'm working. I don't care if your throat is closing up. That's your fault for eating almonds. I don't know, try to pry it out or something? The screwdriver's in the shed. Bye. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes I wish she was the one who that tree fell on, not my dad. So first, the good news. The brand of butter that your veins are taking in right now was not the brand that just got recalled because it contains a small amount of rat feces. That's incredible. What? The bad news, you have six minutes left to live. What? What? Syrup? Sorry, I'm trying to be more inclusive. That was Canadian. I don't even know how I died in the first place. We'll um, discuss that later. Sweetie, what are you gonna do for your last six minutes? Climb a tree, order food at a restaurant, then run out before you have to pay? Steal a baby at a hospital and make her be in pageants? What's he gonna do for his last six minutes? Shh, just keep watching. I know a great shawarma place that will probably give you a free hummus packet if you tell him you're dying. I think I know what I wanna do. What? New York, concrete jungle where dreams are made of. Guys, I'm in Toronto, the city of love, hope, and that rat on the subway who shouts homophobic slurs. Wow, look at that. That's not a horse and buggy like the small town I'm from 20 minutes away. Oh my gosh, it looks like a needle. <laughs> we have so many of those in my house. Um, so who is Sparty? And how do I get my own steakhouse? <laughs> oh, it's super hot out. I thought Toronto was supposed to be the land of the polar bears. There's not one in sight. Oh, wait. No, darn it. Oh my gosh, you, you look like me. <laughs> uh, I'm so funny. Hey, girl. <laughs> I'm in Toronto. I have six minutes left to live. <laughs> oh my gosh, what do I do? Do I call him and tell him what I did to him? What did you do? I feel like I was the worst mom ever. No, stop. You're fine. When he was younger, I used to wrap him in a Kit Kat wrapper and I'd put him in my purse so I could sneak him into the movies. Well, he was just a baby. He was 14. Wow, a university. If I had more than six minutes left to live, I would make sure to go to that. <laughs> Look at those colors. I'm so glad people are finally being accepting of unicorns. Hello, young man. Oh, it's a dog. It's not a man. Hey again, girl. Hey. <laughs> so where? Let's see. Oh, cherry blossoms. Toronto really has it all. It's hot. It's spicy. <laughs> I feel like a... Talk about Chalupa. <laughs> outfit, outfit of the day. Oh, the nurse is looking at me. This is a, this is a hospital. This, this is a hospital. hospital. People are sick. Like me. Hey, can you fix me? <laughs> no. Pedestrian entrance. They have different entrances for types of humans. <laughs> Where's the never had a first kiss in my life? Entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Another polar bear. <laughs> I, just, I just need to tell him. I need to tell him before he dies again. I used to hate when my parents lied to me. Like when they said apples were just obese grapes and that the homeless man living in our basement was just in my head. I, I need a snack. I need a snack to calm me down. Are you using that? My clipboard? Oh my gosh, that's plastic. It's honestly fine. Ever since I got COVID, I haven't been able to taste. So now I just eat things so my stomach doesn't shrink. It literally doesn't matter what it is. Like last night I ate fluffy. Your dog? Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. My gerbil. <laughs> Free? <laughs> that's gonna be my organs when I die. <laughs> Up for grabs. <laughs> Maybe I should sell them on Etsy. Let me guys know down below if you want them. A spleen. Maybe a rib. <laughs> Look at that guy. Just living life. <laughs> I wish I had that. <laughs> a 
theater. I wonder if I can ask them if I can perform my one-man show about how Dasani bottles are killing the beluga whale population. <laughs> it's for all ages. The princess of Wales. Question, why not ferrets? I need, to, I need to tell them how I killed him in the first place. Yeah, how did that happen? Oh my gosh, I'm such a bad mom to little Tyson. Isn't it Ryan? I honestly forget. Guys, I went to that, that convenience store one time and I asked the man if they had sleep masks for your eyes and he said, no, are you stupid? Get out. <laughs> Kebabs done right. <laughs> how are they done wrong? Oh my goodness. I hope that family's okay. Oh, yes. Hey, yo. <laughs> I went there once when I had friends. <laughs> Hot dogs. <laughs> Should I sell mine when I die? <laughs> no, ew. Pretend I never said that. Everywhere I look is shaming me for having just gotten my degree from ABC Mouse. That means walk, right? Okay, fine, fine. I'll tell you how I put baby tycoon in a coma. Finally, my mom's been listening, waiting for this moment. Your mom's been listening to us the whole time? Yeah, I think so. Oh no, she's dead. I accidentally pushed him under a float at Disney World. He got trampled by a tap dancing Elsa. Oh my gosh. I know, why was she tap dancing? Oh, wow. I wish I could see Swan Lake. In my hometown, we're not that fancy. We just have Swamp Lake. So I'm sure that one's way more pretty and doesn't star dancing possums. <laughs> well, one year they had that guy dressed as Shrek doing fuetes. Harry Potter. Sorry. Sorry, I think I offended that pigeon. All right, time to get a hot dog. <laughs> No, the other other one. Guys, that was so embarrassing. So I got this hot dog. It's a veggie dog. That vegan teacher, don't come after me. So I, I was like at the hot dog place, right? Getting my hot dog. And the lady was like, the lady doing the hot dogs were like, oh, it's a hot day out, isn't it? And I was like, oh yeah, it is sweltering. Am I right? And then she was like, please be quiet. I'm trying to talk to my sister on FaceTime. I, <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Excuse me, I'm trying to film a death wish video. Sorry guys, wait, can you see me? No. That lady was, and her sister was right. It's very sweating in here. So I'm gonna take this hoodie off. Sorry, just let me strip for one second. Oh, sorry about that guys. I feel like I'm at Hooters. <gasps> Ryan just texted me. He went to Toronto and will be home in under a minute. It's time to tell him. You need to be honest before he dies again. Ryland, mom, how was Toronto? Oh. Oh my god.